Hey guys, welcome back to another redstone video. Today is the second video in a mini series where we upscale farms to the max. In the first one, we took a cactus farm and built it as large as possible so we could get almost 3 million cacti per hour. I saw today we're gonna do the same for bamboo farm. We're just gonna take a concept, try to improve it a little bit, and try to make it as large as my computer can handle. Let's quickly check out the bamboo farm I made a while ago. So here we had a flying machine that had open minecarts in front that harvest the bamboo. So the big advantage of this machine compared to other designs, we have, for example, just have a flying machine breaking the bamboo and then hopper minecarts picking up the items from below was that the items got picked up immediately by the hopper minecarts. So they wouldn't cause a lot of lag. You can also quickly check how much yeah, MSPT or lag this is causing. So we are now at four MSPT from previously, I think it was one without anything running. So already really lag friendly. But there is one downside of this machine, and we can see it quickly when we yeah, actually return to the other side. I'm just gonna tick up here a little bit. Okay, so here we can see the problem. There is actually a timer that holds the flying machine for a certain amount of time. Ideally, we would already launch the flying machine and send it back to the other direction, but it has the downside that we basically fly over the bamboo that we just harvested a couple seconds ago. So that's not really that great because a lot of efficiency is lost. It would be a lot better if you would go around in a loop. So if you would fly to the right, and then instead of just flying back to the left, you would actually go up with the flying machine and yeah, how is the second bamboo field above? So basically go in a loop. So right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, and so on. And this way we would always um, yeah, harvest the bamboo after the same amount of time has passed. So here we have the downside. This flying machine would harvest uh, the bamboo all the way in the back here um, after it has been harvested the longest. So I'm gonna try to yeah, make a new flying machine that goes in a loop. It took a bit of development time here in the back we can see some prototypes, but I got it to work. So let's check it out. We can turn it on here. So we can now have a flying machine that pulls up the main flying machine. And then the hopper minecarts are pushed up yeah, with the bubble columns again. And then the flying machine is flying to the right. Harvesting the top field. Let's do a tick warp again. On the other side, we just need to push down the same flying machine again. There we go. It's about to dock. And then it flies the other way. So it stopped just by um, yeah, the push limit that is getting exceeded. The flying machine already is pushing 12 blocks. And here it's just stopped. Then we push this part down. Copper minecarts in the meantime get broken. It spends the right moment and then we launch it again. Now the flying machine is going to the left. So this is in total 192 blocks long and already yields around 75,000 bamboo per hour. Okay, we can also do a longer tick warp just to see the flying machine going around in a loop. There's actually not too much effort to build this considering we're getting 75,000 bamboo per hour. Uh, just a reminder, in the latest snapshot, you can actually craft bamboo into planks. So a farm like this one here would already roughly produce 20,000 planks per hour. So why would anybody need a tree farm at this point? It's actually not too much effort if you look at it to build this. There's a couple of slime blocks and pistons and observers required. But apart from that, I think most of the time is actually spent just placing dirt and bamboo. And um, what I also added was actually some glowstone blocks here. If you don't have the second layer above, then just having a skylight level is enough for the farm to work also at night time. But if there's no skylight access, we actually need to provide some block light for the bamboo to grow. So that's why I added the glowstone here. There was also a reason why I made the farm exactly 192 blocks long. So similar to the cactus farm, we will be limited by the random tick range. But I don't think it's necessary to actually use every possible random tick chunk like in the cactus farm. It's enough if you just go for the biggest possible square. And that is a 192 by 192 or 12 by 12 chunk square. So if I have K perfectly in the center, then we'll have this square available. So it's outlined by the acacia planks there. 
Right, now it's just time to scale this up. Instead of having a 10 byte version, we're having a 190 byte version. So I just cloned it 18 more times. And now here we get the machine running here. So if you also look at the lag already, we're running at roughly seven to eight MSPT. So that means we're nowhere near done. You can clone this a couple more times. And if you look at the items we're getting, yeah, it's roughly 1.1 to 1.2 million bamboo per hour already. So there we go. I cloned the whole thing eight more times on top of each other. Now it's really a super massive bamboo farm. So if my computer will be able to handle this, this is going to be 10 million items per hour or 2.5 million planks. That's actually also a bit over 300,000 chests per hour. Okay, let's try it out. I'm going to turn on each module individually to spread out the lag a little bit so we don't yeah, launch all of those flying machines at the same time. I think this should be something we could also do with redstone. I'm just going to do it manually for now. Okay, five. Let's take a look at the lag. MSPT 24. Okay, so we're still good. Still good. 50 is the limit. If we go over 50, then game would be lagging a little bit. Okay, 40. Yeah, looks like we could even go higher. 35, I can't believe this. <laughs> so obviously I actually just cut down the bamboo to not have it being harvested all at the same time. We have to run this for a little bit to see where the lag would even out. Ah, with such a super massive farm, we also have a case again where the sound engine gets broken. So no sound. The reason is we have so many hopper minecarts and hopper minecarts, even if they're not moving, create sound. Basically, the volume of the minecarts is directly linked to their velocity. If their velocity is zero, they still basically make sound, the volume of zero, but it still makes sound, which the sound engine has to handle somehow. And that's why we're actually not hearing this farm at all. So after running the farm for a while, we finally have some good numbers. Unfortunately, the MSPT always goes up a little bit when I'm recording. If I'm not recording and we're not unloading any items, usually it's around 40 MSPT. So there might even be a little bit of a more leeway to make it even larger, but I think it's okay because technically we still need to worry about you know, the items anyway. So currently they just picked up by the hoppers and we used the carpet system to count them, but you would probably all flush them in the portal so they would all come out at the same spot in the nether. So I guess it's fine. Uh, we can also take a look at the items that we're getting. So it's over 10 million bamboo per hour, just as we wanted. So I'd say going any larger wouldn't make any sense because it doesn't really help if you make this farm three times as large. If the game runs a lot slower. You can't claim you get 25 million bamboo per hour if your game runs three times slower. So the only reason why it would go larger now would be for the YouTube clickbait, but that's not my style. Apart from supplying enough materials to craft two and a half million planks per hour, the farm could also supply enough fuel for 7,000 furnaces. But obviously you couldn't really run the farm and 7,000 furnaces at the same time. I think those bamboo farms are hella OP for gathering wood now and unless Mojang nerfs them I think most people will actually switch over to farming bamboo instead of chopping down a single tree anymore. In case you actually want to build such a huge farm we can also quickly take a look at the materialist. It's not as bad as the cactus farm so you don't need 10 million blocks <laughs> to place all of it. It's only about 2.1 million blocks and it's not even that much effort in terms of complicated building because you mostly actually just need to place down a lot of dirt, bamboo, stained glass and glowstone in between. And then the actual redstone part is not that bad. So you only need a roughly 6,000 slime blocks. Yeah, here we got 6,000 hoppers, 7,000 observers. So for such a massive farm, it's yeah not a lot of effort. Always, of course, put in relation. Alright, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.